Hello, welcome to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This time we're looking at an enhancement to version 4 of the app, which makes it much easier to use imported 3D bodies for the bottle that you want to travel along the shaft. Let me hit Generate here and I'll show you uh, what I mean inside the app. So previously this was something of a manual operation, you had to manually import a step file and orient it yourself and move it into the correct position relative to the shaft. But now we can easily switch between an imported 3D solid here and a 2D sketched bottle shape here. Switch between the two, we can see which one's active with the little tick here. And we've just got some handy tools to quickly um, rotate and orient the bottle if you are importing a 3D solid to make it nice and quick. So uh, let's let's have a look in there. So I'm going to hit hit this button to import a 3D solid and I've got a step file here. Let me uh, select that. We can choose a step file or an existing uh, Inventor IPT file at the moment. So let's hit open. So Inventor is going to open that file up and check out how many solid bodies exist in it and then it will um, head back into the shaft that we're building and give me the option to import any of the solid bodies that it finds in that step file. So you see I've got two solid bodies in this one, I can see the volumes of each. But uh, the really useful thing is it's placed the bottle on the correct um, origin point, which is that dot you can see there, which is where the bottle starts moving along the shaft, and it's centered it on that so in the bottle centroid of the solid body and then we can rotate it because of course it appears to have come in in the wrong orientation here we're not going to get very far filling our bottle in that orientation so I can um, use these buttons here to rotate about X Y and Z of the bottle in its own axis uh, in its own coordinate system until I'm happy so let's just twist that round a bit there we go so that is the orientation I want if I decide to change my mind at any point I can always go back and switch the other select the other bottle the other solid uh, so solid body in there um, and easily switch between the two so it's a nice and flexible tool let's get that there if we want to adjust the height and we don't want it centrally positioned height wise here then we can adjust the height with this um, slider here uh, so um, and we get a handy readout to tell us how far the bottom of the bottle is below the, sh the shaft center axis. So the axis of the shaft here, the bottle is currently 62.4 millimeters below. Uh, the bottom of the bottle is, is that far below that one there. Okay, so I'll just put that back to sort of in the center. And uh, once I'm happy with the bottle, actually I want this other bottle here. <laughs> um, once I'm happy with that, I will, um, I can either accept the imported bottle or I can cancel out of it and return back to the 2D sketched bottle. So I'll hit OK here. The uh, step file is imported um, into our shaft model and we head straight back automatically into the uh, the preview from where I can do things like adjust the bottle rotation. So let me put a bit of rotation on the bottles. I can change the distance of the bottles away from the center of the shaft. Uh, so let's just move those out a bit here wait for that to regenerate and obviously I'd have to adjust the bottle pitches and things like that here but um, I'd get that looking correct and then I can go ahead and hit hit generate down here but the nice really nice thing is you see I've got the tick here by the imported 3D shape button here um, I can easily switch back to a sketch 2D shape at any point if I want so I'll hit um, I'll hit this button we get a prompt because uh, this is going to delete the imported bottle solid and uh, and switch to defining the bottle shape with a 2D sketch. So I say, yeah, I want to dump that 3D solid, head back to a 2D sketch, and then I can go and sketch um, as as with usual operation of the app. I can sketch any shape that I want in here. I'll just do a strangely angled uh, rectangle here with sharp sides just to illustrate the point. Hit OK in my sketch. The app restarts. Um, and gives me the preview of the 2D sketched bottles again. And you can see the ticks now by the 2D sketched bottle. So hopefully really nice flexible tool to speed up the um, definition of your bottle shape before you go ahead and generate a shaft with the app. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.